27 forecast. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us back in the Weather Center. We can see the live picture of downtown Youngstown. The sun is beginning to set another week of weather continues. We saw anywhere from storms to a little bit of snow. And I'll let you guess what's coming up this week as well. Again, more storms and more snow. We're going to first start off with current conditions, then to get into the rest of the week and when those storms are actually going to hit the area. Right now, we're seeing temperatures still into the upper 30s. Out near uh, Mercer County, we're seeing temperatures already into the mid 30s, but most of us are going to drop down into the upper 20s and low 30s. More freezing temperatures back into the forecast. Now, we're dealing with clear skies tonight. This is different than what we had last night. Now, with clear skies, it's good news for if you want to go scar stargazing, but bad news for temperatures. Now, you can see tonight we're going to see clear skies, so all that sunshine warming us up to around 40 degrees today is going to eventually evaporate and erode away tonight. Now, typically the difference between a cloudy night and a clear night, well, the clear night allows all that heat we got during the day to lift up and to evaporate. So tonight, what we're going to see with those clear skies, the heat will escape and those temperatures dropping back down to around 29 degrees with mostly clear skies. Now, this will not continue, and the only clear night that we're tracking in our seven-day forecast, also what we're tracking, a little bit of rain. We're seeing here in Future Tracker, look at the temperatures. We're going into the low 30s to start off our work week right around 530 tomorrow morning. Now, as we go through the day, we are going to remain dry heading into lunch. But by the time we get into the afternoon, those spotty rain showers will continue for most of the area. Now, we're not expecting too significant. These are going to be light rain showers, maybe some heavy moderate showers at times, not expecting anything too significant. Temperatures into the upper 40s, and those warm temperatures will continue. We're looking at a high right around 48 degrees tomorrow. Just look at the chance for afternoon showers. Now, we're not expecting anything tomorrow morning, just in the afternoon around 30% for showers. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky. As we look all the way from Future Tracker, we're seeing Tuesday right around 6 a.m. We queued it up to tomorrow, or excuse me, Tuesday morning. Temperatures not as cold as what we're seeing going to be tonight, but again, those warmer temperatures back into the forecast. We're playing it out in Future Tracker. Now, notice here all the way until Tuesday afternoon, we do have a 60% chance of showers for Tuesday. I do think Future Tracker is underdoing the showers a little bit for Tuesday, but what I do agree with is the temperatures and what the rain is what we're going to see and possibly a rumble of thunder, even a storm come Wednesday. It's going to be our best chance for a storm with temperatures. Look at this back into the lower 60s for the end of February and for the first day of March. Now for our seven day forecast, a lot to talk about on this graphic here. We're looking at Monday. Now, again, we're going to start off Monday dry, but then see those chance of showers back into the afternoon. Temperatures are going to continue to rise as we go through the week. 60% scattered rain showers on Tuesday. The high of 63 degrees rain likely on Wednesday. It's going to be off and on throughout most of the day. Then we get into Thursday. Now, there is a cold front coming between Wednesday and Thursday, which is why we're seeing those temperature drop back down, unfortunately, into the 30s feeling more seasonable, but also that the chance of snow back in the forecast. We're looking at the end of Thursday. We could even see some accumulation for Friday, but by the weekend, temperatures warming back up and sunshine.